News reporter Stefan Dingle continues uh, our team coverage tonight live from a movie theater down in Alabaster. Stefan, what's the mood there tonight? Well, Jim and Sherry, I've been driving around the greater Birmingham area all day long, and the general sentiment I've gotten from movie theaters is that they're going to operate business as usual. But here at the Amstar Theater in Alabaster, I've literally seen hundreds come through the door to check out a movie just a day after tragedy took the lives of two victims. Now, Thursday's shooting in Lafayette, Louisiana, comes three years after James Holmes went on a shooting rampage at a movie theater in Aurora. Uh, intensifying the ongoing debate for tougher gun control laws. Now, with the weekend upon us, some moviegoers say this senseless act won't stop their fun. One of the things I always think about is that you let somebody control your life. If you, you know, let one person's actions control your life, they win. I'm strong enough to where I know, my, I know where my faith is, and I'm not going to let anybody destroy my good time. And many people I spoke with today expressed the same sentiments that the good times will continue to roll and while well, management here said they are remaining vigilant and more aware in light of Thursday's tragedy. Now coming up tonight at 6, I'll tell you about an event that's happening here at the theater all weekend long and in, in a coincidental way it's a providing a little hope and motivation for people to come on out to the theaters. Live in Alabaster, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News, coverage you can count on.